I'm Zach, and this is Jason Rohr's new game, Cordial Minuet. I'm joined by Grant. Hey. And we're going to talk through a couple matches to get a good idea how to play the game. Because when I first started, I was way confused, and I kind of had to learn a little bit of it myself, along with a tutorial video that came with the uh, alpha build I'm playing right now. But uh, um, And I'm, I want to know about this game, but what little I've read made no sense to me, so I really want to see it in action. Right, so a few things jump out right off the bat. I have this little dollar sign balance up here. This is the amount of money I have inside the game. This is tied to my account. When you start the game, you're asked to create an account and fund your wallet a little bit. I think you have to put in more than a dollar because it gives you the option to put in a credit card. All very secure. Um, you can input up to upwards of nine hundred thousand dollars, <laughs> and it gives you your fee based okay, on so how much. Okay, so this isn't through PayPal or anything. This is one hundred percent just cordial minuet front to back. Yeah, I, okay. I I don't know much about like online gambling or online money transferring at all, but yeah, it's it doesn't seem to go through anything but the game itself. And then if you have enough money, I think if you have above three dollars, because this is a new option that showed up for me, you can withdraw. And he'll send you a check. Oh, you can actually get a three dollar check right now. Okay, so no, no, no. I can get a seven cent check. It'll cost me three dollars oh, to get the check. Three dollars already. Yeah. Okay. Or so have you won money in this then? Uh, since uh, you started. Yeah, I have. So I started out uh, putting in three dollars, and I uh, let's see. I think it took a forty. I don't know how much that fee was. I think it was calculating. Anyway, I put in three dollars. He's got thirty nine cents, and I've played up to and exceeding my three dollar initial buy in. Oh, nice. So what you do is you start a new game. Uh, and you can set the stakes. Like I'm a I'm a pretty high roller, so mm -hmm. I'm going to put in thirty cents. Yeah, okay. look out. Okay, and we're going to create a game, and it may take a little bit for people to show up because I think there aren't very many play people playing this right now. Yeah. So how did you get this? This is is it in beta or is that? I don't know. So I'm on I'm on a I lot of mailing it. lists with Jason. I don't I don't really know how I got it, <laughs> but he sent me an email one day and he said, "Hey, go to this website." Type in the secret code, which I won't say, oh, and then uh, yeah, I, I could just download the executable and start okay, playing. Okay, so it's this is its final form. It's just not really widely released yet. I wouldn't call it its final form. I, I guarantee a lot of things will change. People are talking on its development form about what they would you know change and improve, and oh, there are a few exciting. yeah, there are a few things to change, but I think it's it's pretty good. But we're gonna come back, I guess, when we get a match because it seems to be taking a little bit, and uh, yeah, we'll just splice in that you won't time will pass but you won't know you won't have any idea how much time oh hey we got a game awesome so this is the game board you can see there are six columns and six rows and each of these columns and rows adds up to 111 along with this diagonal through the middle so there's kind of some like demonic symbolism with uh, numbers and how the I don't, I don't really know the lore I guess you could okay, say behind the okay. game but to play the game you have uh, your chips right here, and you have your opponent's chips up here. So no matter what the stakes are, you've got 100 chips. Right, and so each chip represents, I think, a 100th hun of the, the buy-in. So this chip is worth whatever a 1 100th of a 30 cents is, I'm, you know, 3 cents. No, I don't know. Anyway. <laughs> anyway. Um, so okay. what I do is I whoever has the highest score at the end of the game wins. So this is my score okay. down in the bottom right, and I'm going to drag this green uh, lever right here into a column that I want, to a number I want, and a red one to a column that I want my opponent to have. And the timer's counting down, so I'm going to do that real okay. quick. Um, and it'll select green is the column that I choose, red is the column that I choose for him. Mm -hmm. So he chose for me this horizontal column. He views this exact same game board, but ro rotated 90 degrees to the right. So his columns are these rows. Oh, so you pick the column, he picks the row, and then you get the number of points selected there. Right, so 20 is the amount of points I got for that. Uh, round or that okay. that I guess bout uh, right there. Um, so because twenty is actually a kind of a higher number, you are you can get upwards of thirty six, which is mm -hmm. right here on the board. Uh, I'm going to say you know I, I think I'm pretty positive in that I have three times to get numbers, and that's a pretty high one off the bat. I'm going to bet two two chips. So what you just bet is this is how much you bet that you're going to win the whole game. Oh, and he just folded. So we're going to redo this entire thing, I guess. Did he just fold the entire game, or just yeah? He end? folded this entire match. So okay. we're st or wait, yeah, no, nothing was lost on his part. No, he lost. He lost his buy-in. Okay. So we're just going to start over again. So I'm going to choose a row for me. Uh, I like going for the 36, but I feel like that's an easy target. So if if I wanted to get that 36, I feel like he could choose a bad number for me that I could get. It's kind of okay. Your, your, yeah, I already said you're trying to get in the other guy's head. So. Yeah, you're trying to trick him. So if he goes for anything in this row, if he say he mm -hmm. wants that 32 on his columns, I'm going to give him that one. That's kind okay. of that's kind of so my you are, right now you just picked the worst number for him in a very 
I guess, profitable row. Mm -hmm. So okay. because this horizontal row is the one he gave to me, I know that he did not get that 20 for himself because he okay. blocked himself out of that. And okay, I got so a 14. There's a lot more information being conveyed here than I guess I realized at first. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to go ahead and bet two just because, I don't know, okay. it's 30 cents. I don't really care. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, just kind of. Mm -hmm. So he's making his bet or like mulling over that bet in his head right now. But as you can see on the right here, these, this is a little bar that shows the possible outcomes of the game, and he just keeps unfolding. So we're going to go through this over and over again, which is fine. Um, the possible outcomes of the game. So if I select this one, you can mm -hmm. see the amount of possible uh, outcomes that he has, like the, the total points he can get on the right here in that red column lessons. Okay, so you will end the game with one of those little green dots yes the little green score. dots next to the line is okay. the things i can actually get but these horizontal thicker lines those are what he he can Thinks. he can gather that i can get or that's what's showing up in his red bar okay so 26 is awesome i'm gonna no, he folds too easy i'm gonna just put three so we can continue which is higher <laughs> bet than i've been doing i don't know why i did that anyway so explain to me what happens when a fold uh, so right now, if I were to like this next round or this mm -hmm. next, uh, decision tree, I'm going to pick, I'm going to pick this row or this column because, uh, okay. that's, that's a, that's a good distribution of numbers. I want to get one of those. Oh, and I see you, you know, you can't get the five because he's already picked that for you. Yes. Okay. So he's already knocked that out for him and myself. I know he didn't get the 22 also. That's a, that's a key mechanic knowing mm -hmm. that what he doesn't get. So if he folds right now after a bet, and so I just got... Uh, 18. So that's a pretty good score. Okay. Oh, and he did not get the 36, right? Because he picked that row for you. Right. So I know he didn't get the 36. So as you can see, this bar on the right is diminishing. Um, and I actually have a possibility to get the highest score above him. Like that is solidified that I okay. could get that. So you could get a score higher than any mm -hmm. of his potential. So okay. if I bet two right now and he folds, mm -hmm. I just get what's in the pot right now. Okay. And he bet oh, so higher he than raised. me. Okay. He raised. So I'm just going to match his raise. Put in that amount. Okay. Mm -hmm. Now that I see your side of things, like what you see when the other person bets or raises, it makes a little more sense. Right. So uh, I don't have a defined strategy yet. Like it's it's still pretty new and there's not a lot of people playing it. Like people have been playing poker forever, right? So people <laughs> yeah. know how to... Yeah, I'm, I'm just curious to see how this works. Mm -hmm. So I got a, I got the highest number I possibly could. That we talked that 76. So oh. I know I'm in a good spot. So I'm going to raise... Yeah, you should raise a lot. I'm going to raise 10. Okay. Yeah. So that's... Oh, but you don't want to scare him away, right? Right. Because he can probably gather that. Well, actually, most of his red lines are behind this second one, so he actually matched oh, he me. Called. And now here's another. Here's the the step after all the grid is taken up. Mm -hmm. I can reveal a, a number to him, which, hmm. if I do that, I can show him that I either have this number right here, mm -hmm. or this number right here. Interesting. Yeah, it's it's kind of that. This is the mind games part, and you get to raise one more time based on the reveal. So, so this is, there's one more round of vetting here, and that's the last round? Yep. So I'm going to show him this one because this green line is above his red lines uh, quite a bit, but he could have upwards of this, even though I know I'm going to win no matter what. Gotcha. Mm -hmm. So in this case, it's not guaranteed that you yeah. beat him. So my 26 got highlighted quite a bit. He revealed a 23. So I think we can actually play some mind games here. Well, you should definitely raise. Yeah. I'm going to raise 10. Yeah. 10? Yeah. I don't know. Yeah. If you're consistent, it doesn't look like you uh, reacted. True. Oh, yes. All right. Oh, sweet action. So he revealed, or wait, no, these are his numbers darkened out. So he got that low score, and it's revealed that I had the 76, and I get all that money. And then the table takes a little bit. I assume that's how um, uh, the designer, Jason makes his money. yeah, Jason gets some money. Okay, now uh, you're playing again against the same guy. Yeah, and I can okay. leave at any point and keep those winnings. So let's oh, go ahead and play another one because we're here. Yeah, um, I feel like I don't totally have a handle on this yet. Yeah, it, it takes a little bit, but it's it's pretty fun. It's an idle game. Like It chimes at you if you are <laughs> taking a long time or if your game is not popping yet. So I'm going to yeah, choose I, this row. I can row. see this being a good one to kind of have on while you're doing something else. Mm -hmm. And because it's... Uh, it's a Jason Roar game. It runs on every computer ever made, <laughs> seemingly. So it's pretty cool. You could have like a netbook in a coffee shop or something like that, mm -hmm. and uh, make some money. Maybe I don't know. I, I used to play internet poker on my laptop uh, between classes. I did not make money on that. Yeah, I like gambling. I, I had a recent uh, spat with roulette. Not spat. A uh, spell with roulette. <laughs> I really liked roulette. I wanted to. Yeah, you really like roulette enough that it okay. me a little bit. So because I think he's going to try and get that 36, mm -hmm. I'm going to... Wait, okay. That's actually... I'm just going to choose him a row because I am i don't really understand the give him a row aspect of it yet. Mm -hmm. So he gave me a 22. Okay. 
and he, he does not have a 26 or a 28 so he or an 8 so he could have that 36 right now okay so and I'm that's reflected on the right side and i see these yeah these really high red bars meaning he could have that 36 right so i might freak him out here a little bit and raise him oh, 10 big raise i like playing games for a dollar just because i don't know <laughs> yeah like even so, if, so if i wanted to host a game for like 5 cents could i do that oh yes you people? can you can host it as low as a penny mm -hmm. it fractions up your money as you remember earlier in the video my balance was like 3 okay yeah i saw that your balance had a ton of decimal points behind it and now mm -hmm. i see why that is so oh punch i messed oh. those up <laughs> i thought i was going for this column Can't which i would have gotten a 33 i messed oh, i mixed those up dang it um what are you going to bet I don't know. I don't really know. I'm really bad at poker. I don't. I hate lying to people. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm going to raise four. And I don't want to do that, so I'm going to fold. So he gets the rest That's of the hand. the right call. Yeah, I could see how this, uh, you know, it kind of reminds me of uh, poker and that half the game is between you and the other guy. It's really interesting when you can't see the other person. Yeah. So is there any way to play this uh, on like a same screen or something where you're playing with someone across the table? I guess that wouldn't work. Would no, it? I don't think so. Okay. You would need your own little account. And um, the account setup was really easy. I just got an email and like a, a code, and that was my code with the game. Is there any sort of friend system, or if I want to play a game against a specific person, could I do that? Not yet. Uh, I, can, I can see that happening, but I don't know. His last game, uh, which I really liked, Castle Doctrine, mm -hmm. even in its final form, wasn't that different from the alpha I previewed like a year before. Okay. Uh, I like that 28, so I'm going to bet higher. And uh, I guess... Yeah, his highest result... Oh, wait, never mind. He has a 34. I was going to say his highest result is close to mine, so why not? He could have gotten that 34, but he could have gotten the one. But the Castle Doctrine was released on Steam, and you could... I don't think you could communicate on a friends list anywhere. He's all about uh, anonymity. That word. Anonymity? Yeah, anonymity. <laughs> so Your beer is more empty than mine. Yes. Oh, we're <laughs> drinking brand new Casey Pills. It's great. Uh, let's see. Okay, so... I just I, I go after the one because I can see him taking this column or oh, this the row. The one and the thirty six are on the same row. That's dangerous. Yeah, so that could be okay. bad for him. Now this this board is random every time, correct? Mm, I yeah, I'm pretty sure. I mean, all the rows add up to 111 because all that stuff. Okay. I'm pretty sure what I read in Forbes was that um, he wants to make sure that it, the theme is he I don't know he likes the idea that numbers were used to identify uh, like names of demons or something like that in the Bible. <laughs> And, uh, it's, it's kind of cool that the uh, the symmetry and such that make numbers interesting in that context also make it a, a good game for gambling. Because when you first pointed out that the numbers all the rows all add up to the same number, I didn't understand why that was important. But now I see your average. You know, if you're looking at a row, no matter what, it's all the same average, right? Like you couldn't say this row has a higher average than this row because right. they all add up to the same number. Yeah. Okay, so as, as I watch you play this, I think I gain a little more appreciation for how this is set up. It's pretty clever. Mm -hmm. Ooh, I got a 30. That's a big one. Nice. Uh, and so he could have gotten upwards of a 34. So, Oh, so he thinks you have maybe even a 30 or a 36, right? Yes. Okay. 30 so or a 36, because that's, right that's his column, even though that's our row for him. And I guess that's kind of represented by the, you know, these are the only two sides with uh, little scripts on them. Okay. I'm going to, uh, let's see. Raise him four. This guy is like, he likes to fold very easily. Mm -hmm. Whereas, you know, I'm, you know, it's, it's, tight it, player. it's 30 cents, dude. Come on, let's have some fun. <laughs> uh, I don't think we'll have time to wipe this guy out, but are there any other questions that are just jumping out at you right now? So yeah, speaking of wipe this guy out, is this, you just both sit at the table until someone clicks leave? Yeah, well, if he gets down to zero, I think the game finishes because his, he doesn't have any more stake in the game. Uh, if we kick, if we click leave, I can just keep all the money and, and leave and everyone's happy or sad with what they've lost. Okay. I, I do want to watch you play this a little bit more just because I feel like even though you've verbally explained every part of it, just by watching you play this, I still feel like I'm learning more about how it works. Mm -hmm. Okay. So this is big. We know he didn't get a 36. Okay. Uh, so what, what's that really high thing uh, on his possible numbers? Is that if he got a 35... And, uh, looks like if he would have gotten, uh, he could have a 35 with a 28 and it okay. could be, he could get that 33 or that. Uh, yeah. Uh, I think 35 plus 28 plus okay. 33 could add up to this 96. Do that quick math. Uh, so I got a one that that's terrible, but I still am like kind of high up here. So I'm going to put a bet anyway to mess with him. So yeah, I had seen some early screenshots of this game, um, and I had thought it was more of a math game, but now that I see the math is really pretty simple. It's it, As you're talking through it, it seems more like it's about mind games and messing with the other person uh, than it is actually about 
playing with numbers. Right. Yeah. And so he just folded again. So let's start with a new board. I'm probably wrong. There's probably some sort of <laughs> master strategies involving math that people have figured out. Yeah. But you haven't had hundreds of years to understand. That's true. So is, is this based on any existing games? You know, I don't think so. Mm-hmm. Um, because that... Because, yeah, one thing you pointed out earlier is, you know, like poker... Um, you can look up a guide on poker really easily. Mm -hmm. Um, You know, people have been, you can talk to someone who's spent their whole life playing poker uh, and they'll have figured a lot of stuff out. Whereas if this is truly as new as I think it is, one thing that's kind of exciting is you're probably playing against people who aren't too familiar with the game either. And that's fun. Right. And I think that's why I got back up to my $3 and seven cents because I think I was down to like $1.50 at one point because I just start games that are at a a dollar buy-in. Which, I mean, the amount of fun I've had with this game after only putting $3 in is pretty staggering. Mm-hmm. So, um, I don't know. I'm enjoying it. I want to give him... What do I want to give him? I do like that there has to be money on the line. I feel like that just makes every game more interesting. Because I played free online poking for a little while, and it's just hard to make yourself care when there's no money. But even if you only have a few cents, it's like, oh, I could win some real money. So, mm-hmm. it makes you want to focus on it more. Yeah. So, a lot of my results are higher than his. Like, mm-hmm. I, I could get a lot... I mean, I, I could... The potential oh, he sees is, is really, really high, yeah. but I am I am so low because I have a 26. Uh, so you might be able to scare him into folding, even though you know you probably, I mean, it looks like you probably won't beat him, right? Yeah, and he's never raising, he's never like upping the ante on me. It's, I think I'm playing he against him. folding a lot at first, but now he seems a little bit more bold. Mm-hmm. And even, and because I don't really understand the game fully, even though I'm making a tutorial video on it right now, uh, <laughs> I just like dragging the, the tokens around on the bottom to see how that, um, Looks neat. that side chart moves to understand my odds a little bit better. Okay. I didn't realize that chart was updating as you, mm-hmm. uh, slid the symbols around. Okay. So I'm actually second to the, my bottom results, but I could have oh, two that are higher than him. Oh, okay. So I'm going to. Try see if I can them? get that. Yeah, see if I can get the rest of this pot by raising so that's a ten. The same that you've been doing when you had a high hand. Oh mercy! So he called you. Oh, but if I put this token, if I put my reveal on here, he could ma- he could make the assumption that I have a seventy six. Okay, so you want to make wanna, it look like you could have that seventy six. Yeah, want to commit that and then bet like five. What's he going to say? He has he either has this or this. Okay, this is actually now tempting on my part. Because he could have one that is lower than me. So you want to make the bet that you would make if you had the high number. I believe so, yeah. Okay. So I'm going to just do 15. Oh, what's he going to do? I don't know. What's I don't know, do? I don't know. What's he going to do? How am I going to afford parking downtown? Oh! <laughs> he matched he me. called you. Oh, called damn it. Okay, bluff. so we, we're we back down. we should stop there. That's pretty exciting. Yeah, no, that was a, that was a good uh, ending. So thanks for watching. This is uh, Jason Moore's game, Cordial Cordial Minuet. Uh, I'm Zach. Please subscribe to my uh, YouTube channel. I enjoy making these type of videos. And Grant, thanks for showing up. And you can always see Grant at, uh, he's a DJ at Tortango.com. Yeah. And he does all sorts of good sounds. But uh, thanks for watching. And uh, maybe tune in more for more hot tips and tricks. If you don't lose all your money playing this game, there'll be a couple more videos. Yep. And I'm actually actually going to leave here to show kind of how it breaks down the game old balance okay. was that i left with that much my yeah. new balances i actually gained I like a little that. money on that somehow cool. i don't know but yeah and there's uh there, whew, god three dollars <laughs> and 15 cent game high rollers mm-hmm. but uh thanks for watching and i'll see you later